New tonight, the mayor of Charlottesville, Virginia, says she blames President Trump for the racial tension in America as her city braces for another white nationalist rally this weekend. Well, you know, when you um, are comfortable with spewing that kind of hate um, as um, 45 um, appears to be, then it definitely is um, causing um, turmoil within the community and making people feel very comfortable with um, subject, subjecting others to that level of hate. Now, the governor of Virginia has already declared a state of emergency in anticipation of poor unrest. This, as our Sarah Seidner speaks with a KKK imperial wizard, a man who attended last year's rally and was arrested for shooting a gun there. I want to warn you that some of the language you will hear in her report is disturbing. I shot a gun. A man had a flamethrower. Richard Preston admitting what he did during the deadly white nationalist Unite the Right rally last year in Charlottesville, Virginia. That's Preston yelling the N-word, aiming and firing in the direction of a black counter-protester wielding a blowtorch. Preston spoke to CNN for the first time since he pleaded no contest in the case against him. Are you sorry for, for, for shooting a gun towards no, because a I black protected, man? No, because I protected people on the steps. That's all I was doing. But you did say the N-word before you fired that gun. Can I Why? ask you a question? If Why? you're standing in a group of a thousand black folks. There wasn't a thousand black folks around you. Right, I, I can't tell you how many there was. But okay, a large group of black people. Okay, how do you get one black man's attention? in a crowd full of black people. You say, hey, you with the torch. There's a thousand ways. He didn't care. Preston says he went to protect a Confederate statue as a member of a militia, but he also wears another hat. The heck with all these illegals. That of an imperial wizard of a Ku Klux Klan chapter. For years, he's been trying to rebrand the KKK as peaceful do-gooders, not hate-filled racists. Do you hate black people? No, I have friends that are black. But you're an imperial wizard of uh -huh. a Ku Klux Klan group, uh -huh. and the Klan has a history of terrorizing black folks. How can you say that? Some clans did have a history of terrorizing black folks, but not all clans did. And I've never terrorized a black person in my life. Why not join the Kiwanis Club? Why not call <laughs> it something different? Because, Why the again, Ku Klux Klan? Because I want to see the Klan become what it once was. He references this, the second rising of the Klan, when thousands marched through Washington in 1925. At that time, that march was about the fact that our country was allowing immigrants to come here, change their names with no documentation. If your name was Schwarzkopf, you could come here and call yourself Schwartz, and nobody cared. He fails to mention it was also about keeping blacks, Jews, and immigrants from rising socially or politically. But he says his clan is different. It's not about a black man, a white man, a brown man, a red man, and a yellow man. It's about a red, white, and blue. Hey, Preston is still trouble. awaiting oh, sentencing in Charlottesville. <laughs> How you doing, man? How you doing, my friend? While he waits, something remarkable is happening because of this man. R&B musician Daryl Davis has spent decades engaging with Klan members and challenging their beliefs. He and Preston have talked for years via phone. And suddenly, Davis was standing up for Preston in court. What do you say to the judge? I testified on his behalf. I also paid part of his bail money to get him out. You paid part of his bail money? I did. Is he taking you for a fool, using you? No, not at all. Not at all. How do you know? Because he and I were already friends. I said, I am willing to take Mr. Preston, and he has agreed to go down to this museum with me and take a tour of it and learn something. He's referring to the National Museum of African American History. Seeing what he's going to see there is going to plant a seed. The seed may not blossom today, tomorrow, the next day, but eventually it will come out because the truth never... Can, can, never, can never be squashed. The two men the bonding over history I and returning to Davis's home to find another shared passion. In a change in that weather, His track record speaks volumes. Davis says 200 of the Klansmen he's befriended over the years have left the group, more than 40 of them with a simple gesture, relinquishing their Klan robes to him. You don't think he'll ever give you a robe up? No, I'll be buried in it. It's already set in stone. You sure? Mm -hmm. But then this happened. Richard Preston, who had never been married, had Daryl Davis at his clan wedding. As you stand in the presence of God. This time, it was Davis giving something away. The bride. Me and his friendship has been something really special. Really. She wanted me to be a part of this wedding. That's beautiful. That's a seed planted. 
considering their relationship and the fact that the white nationalists unite the right rally is now scheduled to be here in Washington DC. I asked both men where they thought race relations in this country were headed. They both said they thought it'd get worse before it gets better.